already for continuity of CPC and polarity test. As always within the consumer unit, we have linked the line conductor and CPC, and we are now ready to perform the test. Okay then, so we're now ready to test our two lights that are controlled two-way from both switches. First test being continuity of CPC and polarity. Link is in the consumer unit, going to go to the first lighting point on the circuit and prove that we have continuity of CPC and polarity by operating both switches, then onto the second light fitting. So we're going to go first of all on the switching line and the earth terminal. And we can see that our circuit is currently in the on position. We now need to rotate through our switches, it should go off. On. Off. And we must leave it in the on position at this stage. I also want to prove that the exposed conductive part is connected to the CPC. So again, I'm going to link on and this time go on to the metal box itself in order to pick up a connection. And we also get a reading. I'm going to come down and do the switch in there. Again, this time I've just taken the switch out the front and I'm going to connect to the exposed conductive part and the common terminal to make life easy for myself. So I'm going to connect on the common and the exposed conductive part of the switch. And we can see that the CPC is connected. Move across to the next light fitting, switching line and switching line and earth terminal. Circuit is currently on, off, on, off. Leave the circuit in the on position again. This time we go again onto the exposed conductive part to prove that it's connected to the CPC. And we can see it is. And then we move down to the switch itself again using the common terminal to make life easy for ourselves. Common terminal and onto the chassis of the switch itself, recording the highest reading that we achieved for those. After completing all four of those tests that we did at both lighting points and those switches, record the highest reading as our continuity of CPC. We also proved polarity and left the switches in the on position, which is required for the next test, which is insulation resistance. Okay then, now we're going to do our insulation resistance test of our lighting circuit. Light switches are now covers on, lights are covers on, consumer unit cover is removed to allow me to do the insulation resistance test from inside here. The RCBO is in the off position, the circuit breaker is in the off position and we're going to test from the top of the breaker, neutral bar and earth bar and then between our neutral and earth bar and then we're going to re-switch uh, our switches into the other on position to get the other strapper in circuit for the insulation resistance. So we're left in the on position now, we test between the line and neutral. The reading has gone off scale. We're now going to test between line and earthing conductor. And then we're going to test between earth and neutral bar. Now we're going to switch our switches into the other on position as they're two way. So the switch goes off, switch goes back on. The other strapper is now in circuit to complete the insulation resistance test. We do all three again. Expecting the same reading, but we would record the lowest of the readings that we achieve. And that completes the insulation resistance test for the two lights, two-way switch.